Hi, welcome to the Novel Vibe on-prem video series. In this video, we want to start uh, demonstrating how you'll create a custom form in Novel Vibe. In this scenario, uh, we want to create a new employee survey for uh, new team members and new employees so that you can get to know them and they can kind of submit some information to, to help uh, familiarize yourself with them. So we have here a new employee survey folder, which is actually a survey folder. But we don't want to use the survey provided by Novell Vibe uh, by default. So we're going to go ahead and create our own custom form. So under Folder, we're going to select the Form View Designers. This is the tool where you'll create custom forms and workflows. In our case, we want a custom form. And a custom form is an entry definition. So we're going to create a new entry definition. And we're going to call it New Employee Survey. We're going to enter a data name, and uh, it, it needs to kind of be formatted so that it can fit in the database, so no spaces, uh, no capitalized letters, um, and then you can select the family that it's in. In this case, we just want to say allow comments, and then we're going to select OK. So now we have a new blank form template. Our form template has three sections. We want to spend a little bit of time on these. It has the entry form definition, the entry view definition, and the summary view. The summary view is, as you can see there, type blog. This is only used for blog folders, so we're going to pretty much ignore the summary view through our uh, descriptions here. Um, but we do want to focus on the entry form definition and the entry view. Below, you'll see a preview of the entry form definition. Now you won't see a preview of the entry view definition, but the view is what you see when you've selected a already submitted form. So now we want to start building out this form. We have some uh, default elements. One is a title, we have a description area, we have an attachment area, and we have form buttons. And these can all be seen in the preview below. Title, description, attachment area, and form buttons. OK and cancel. So for our new employee survey, we want to add a new field that's called interests. So we're going to select a text area. And we're going to call it interests. So again, we need to create a data name that's lowercase, no spaces. Um, we can determine the width and height. I'm going to leave those default by not filling in anything. And then we could actually make it required. But I'm just going to go ahead and select OK. Now here in our uh, hierarchy, we see that the text area interests has been added at the bottom. So if we look at our preview, we'll notice text area interests has been added here at the bottom. We really want to move this around so it makes more sense in our form. Uh, so we're going to select the text area interest and select move. Now it wants us to click on the new location. So we're going to select the description and then it will ask us do you want it above or below or in the item that we've selected. The description area can't have items inside of it. So this is out of the question. We're going to put it below the description. If we go down and, and v review our preview, we see interest has now moved from the bottom of the form just below description. Um, some other things that you may want to consider, if you want to change the name of one of these fields, like title, you select modify. The default fields are very important. You don't want to change the data name or else it will preview differently. So in the caption, we'll say, uh, employee name, but we'll leave the data name the same. This is only the case for default entry form elements, like title, description, attachments. Um, for description, we also want to change the name. But we're going to leave description the same. Now we see that those changes have been made down in the preview. Employee name, tell us about yourself, interests, attachments. 
here's our form buttons. Watch our other videos to find out how to build your form with the elements that you need.